Hey guys, welcome to Top Channel. In this video, I want to share with you a few things you should consider before buying a used laptop. So I've had this laptop for quite a while and you can see it has done its time and um, I'm considering selling it. So I thought I should make a video about buying a used laptop, but in the perspective of a, of a seller. I'm uh, talking about things that uh, a seller might know about their laptop that uh, as, a as a buyer you may not think about. Uh, so obviously this laptop has been, I've been using this for a while and it has its issues that uh, a buyer may not think about or even consider when they are, when I'm selling it to them. And if I don't mention it to them, uh, they may never see it. So the first thing you should consider before buying a laptop is what brand or what specs you expect from the laptops you want to buy. So, uh, do you want a Mac computer or do you want a Windows computer? And uh, what brand? Is it Dell or HP or anything? Uh, this will help you, say a seller is trying to sell you an i7 Dell laptop, but you know uh, Dell doesn't make any i7 laptops. I'm just giving this as an example. Obviously, Dell makes i7 laptops. But uh, if you know that Dell doesn't make i7s, but the seller is trying to sell you an i7 laptop made from Dell, you would know that this is a scam. So when you get to the seller, the first thing you should ask is the laptop brand and the model number. After getting that, go to Google and search for that model. So the images that come up should look exactly like what the seller is trying to sell you. If not, ask them why and uh, if the reason is not good enough, just walk away. So after doing that, go to eBay or Amazon or Craigslist or any e-commerce website and then again type in that model number and see the listing that come up and the pricing. So this will give you a price range so that you're not buying a used laptop for much more than a new one. Uh, and will also give you an idea if you're getting a good deal or a bad deal. So after looking up the pricing, I take a good look at the laptop itself and see if there are any scratches, uh, any breaks anywhere that can indicate that the laptop fell down. So let's take a look at uh, this used laptop that I'm trying to sell and uh, talk about the issues it has that uh, as a scammy seller, if I was one, I may not tell my buyer. So uh, the first thing you should do uh, is switch on the power button and see if the laptop switches on. If it doesn't, that's a red flag and uh, you shouldn't buy anything that doesn't switch on. Uh, so if the laptop switches on successfully and uh, wait for it to load until the window screen area and then shake it a bit to see that uh, it doesn't switch off. Uh, because sometimes if the battery is loose and it's not tight, uh, if you shake it, it can switch off. So uh, that only works if of course uh, the battery is not the laptop is not in power if it's in power just plug it out and see if it goes off uh, if it goes off and it has a battery inside then know that uh, the battery is dead uh, or is not working correctly if the battery is not working correctly ask them if they can replace it for you or if they can't try to talk about that when you're bargaining on the pricing the next thing you should do after windows opens up uh, you can open up notepad just hold on the Windows key and then R on your computer, then you will get the run uh, window. Type in Notepad or any text editor. Uh, just using Notepad because it's very easy to use. Hit every key on the keyboard to make sure that every key there works fine. This particular laptop, I know that the number three on the numpad key area uh, doesn't work, so but it looks fine if you're just looking at it. And if the buyer doesn't test it, they may never find out. So after checking that all the keys are working correctly, check the check the touch part and see that uh, it also it is also working just fine. So after that, try to wiggle the screen a bit and uh, see if it's not loose. A good laptop, when you move the monitor to an angle like this, it stays like that. Uh, you can see it doesn't see it's tight enough and uh, it's not loose so after that try to look at all the inputs on the laptop uh, the usb uh, the microphone the microphone jack or the earphone jack uh, i would advise to work with a with a usb uh, mouse so that you can test that out on every uh, usb input and then an earphone plug uh, maybe if you have uh, also, your phone would be a very good thing to work with uh, to, just to test out the Wi-Fi on the laptop. If the laptop comes with Wi-Fi, so you can create a Wi-Fi hotspot on your smartphone. If it's not sensing it, uh, ask the seller why. Uh, sometimes it could be the drivers and you may just need to, uh, to install new drivers or something. But uh, 
yeah, you need to be aware of that. So uh, then the other thing is uh, uh, if the Wi-Fi comes with Bluetooth, uh, you, may, you might also want to check that. Also, just switch on the Bluetooth on your on your phone and see if uh, the laptop will sense it. And then, uh, so that is just checking the sensors and uh, inputs on the laptop. On the laptop, from that, from there, ask for the power plug if it's not powered in, and then see if the laptop is charging when you plug in the power. Uh, so for this particular laptop, uh, if you plug in the power plug. Uh, sometimes it will charge, sometimes it won't. Uh, that's why I recommend you buy from someone you trust or from a shop that uh, can that gives refund or can swap your laptop after you realize it has an issue uh, that you didn't see uh, when you were buying. So the other thing you should check are the specs of the laptop to see that they are matching what the seller is trying to sell you. Uh, if you don't know how to just do a quick go-go and you will see uh, different ways to check uh, different laptops so that was a quick run through of the things you should check before you buy a used laptop uh, thank you for watching subscribe like leave a comment and uh, see you in the next video